So I want to give a little tutorial about my app, Mo Rhythm Africa. First of all, I want to zoom in on that logo. That's what it looks like on your device or your TV or iPad, iPhone. So when you open this up, this is the first version. We've already updated it. And there are triangles inside of each of those instruments. That is only if you want to see the video. So those are purchased in-app um, availabilities. But if you don't want to buy them, your app is functional. You just tap on the list of rhythms. Do not tap on what you see on this side, which is an iCloud, which is not there on mine because I've already downloaded the videos. But when you see the iCloud, that again refers to the videos. If you want to select the rhythm, just select the rhythm name. Touch on any of the rhythm names and you will get that sound or that rhythm to come up. If you tap on the videos uh, or if you tap on the cloud, it'll give you a prompt if you want to buy the videos. Again, those are not necessary to make the app work. If you want to get the video, you're going to see something like this. about 30 seconds long to show you the movement of the hands for each of the drum parts. So if it's a new rhythm that you've never learned before in a class and you want to see how the hands move, then you can download those videos. One rhythm is 99 cents. You'll get all five videos for 99 cents for each rhythm. Um, so now let's say you're ready to play the app. The play button is down here. When you're looking at it vertically, it's gonna be down here. So on your iPhones, the screen is much smaller. Your play button is all the way down here. So, simple as that. The whole rhythm starts. By default, all of the rhythms are, all of the instruments are selected. So if you wanna change what you're hearing, you can either do it while the track is playing, no problem. You can do it while the track is playing. Or if you want to set up your practice session, what you can do is say, okay, I want to play first accompaniment. Um, so I'm going to mute, I'm going to mute that first accompaniment. Okay. Because I want to play along and see if I can stay in the rhythm. So the idea is that all of the other instruments are going to play except for first accompaniment. The idea is with your headphones on or even if you have a nice stereo system in your house, you're going to try and fit in There's no break for the ending. When you start every time, you will hear the signal every time the track starts. The other buttons on the bottom that are uh, for your use, you've got, let me get these sounds just a little bit down. 
you've got this next to the play button is a metronome. So that's, if you need to keep track of time, let's say you want to play, well, let's, let's switch it to a different rhythm. Let's switch it to um, Denadon. And let's say you just want to play, practice the Sangban part. So you're going to learn the Sangban part first. So you're going to solo it. And you want to hear how it relates to that downbeat. That way when you go to your Sangban, I don't have sticks on me. You can learn the part by soloing the instrument. You can also watch the video of the part by clicking on the video. Now you've learned the part. So you've learned the Sangban part. I think then you want to mute it. And let's mute the djembe and both of the djembe parts. So the goal is, can you place the sangban part in with the other dunudes as you practice? So you have to come in from the top. Let's try this again, I wasn't back there. Here we go. other button down here is the picture of Africa. When you press this, you're going to get the history of the rhythm, the description of where it comes from, why it's played, what country. And when you click on the star, you're going to see the notation. The one that comes up is default for the sort of simplified notation that we use. There is Western notation as well. Um, these, but the, the format is going to change a little bit. We are having, we're going to have another update coming out in a few weeks. And what we're going to change is we're going to combine the notation with the history button. Um, so that when you press on that one, you'll have history on one and then the two different versions of notation. Cause we find that most people don't need that third. If I could make it stay up there, that notation, most people don't need. The other things we're going to be adding are keys. So the key to the notation will be included in the next update because obviously not everybody knows what those symbols are. And we will have um, different, this is the first version, the pictures are different. So you no longer see a triangle in there anymore. You see a picture of a television. And again, for those that are used to the screen vertically, um, if you have your, oh, and uh, I forgot to say, the metronome button, if you hold your finger on it, you get a volume slider. So if you want the metronome, but it's a little too loud, you can always do it down there. So if we have that, hold the finger on the metronome, make it louder, or just put it there. So as your preference, you can fix that. Oh, and up here, this is the bio, my bio, my history, and the developers who have been working on this app with me and you can contact them. All of our email is down there as well. So we have another set. These are all beginner rhythms. The 10 rhythms that I chose for this uh, first, um, the launch of the app were 10 beginner rhythms. So what I have coming out next are gonna be 10 intermediate rhythms and 10 advanced rhythms. So you'll be able to develop your repertoire as you grow as a drummer with the app. The other things we're gonna add on there are solo phrases. Um, we're also adding a track that is for dance teachers. Um, Basically what this app, what this new track is going to do is on the screen, let's say you have all these. Well, down here you're going to have a, a, a choice, or if I leave it vertically, <laughs> there goes my daughter. <laughs> you will have like a space here, it'll say djembe signal. What that means is if you click it, you have two choices. You click it on, you'll have a choice to play the signal every eight bars or every 16 bars. So for people that are teaching beginner dance class and they have a warm up that they don't have drummers to come play at the warm up, you can play the whole rhythm, select that track for the, the signal to play every eight bars. And then when the rhythm starts, you'll have one, two, three, etc. 
cetera, four. When you get to the eighth one, and then the rhythm will keep going. So it'll play the break inside of that rhythm if you select it. And that was requested by one of the users. So if you have suggestions like that, email me. We're putting this constantly to work with um, what people need. The app is to serve your, your, your needs. And, and I find that everybody has different needs and I didn't even think about the dance world. So it was great that a dancer emailed me and gave me that suggestion. And I think more suggestions are better. So we're constantly updating. And if you have any more questions, like I said, contact me and I'm happy to, to give you some answers or feedback. Thank you.